Hey everybody, Steve Maxwell here. Gosh, where do I begin talking about Louis Belson? I really, really love Louis' playing, and <clears throat> he was such an inspiration to me. He was incredible. His technique was unbelievable, but more than that, his musicality. Listen to the way he played. He was so musical across that set of drums. And Louis, who had technique beyond belief, was one of those people who used technique to express musical ideas, not just for the sake of chops. And Louis' innovations were amazing. He was the first person to really use a double bass drum. Look at this kit that he had put together originally right here. Two 20 by 20s, a big cocktail drum in the middle, different toms on the left and right. Amazing stuff. Uh, if you look at that very first photo, he had a 10 by 14 as his rack tom. And this is in the early 60s when guys were using 9 by 13s. Uh, Louis' innovations were incredible. His technique was unbelievable, as I've already said. He was a wonderful, wonderful gentleman on top of it all. I was thankful to have met him a couple of times. Uh, not as often as I wish uh, I, I could have, though. Uh, I was also very fortunate to have a set of Louis that I did a video on, and I'll try to find a way to link that video. It's up on my YouTube channel, but it was a uh, Rogers kit. 24 karat gold plated hardware, an amazing kit with an amazing story behind it. There's some photos of it in here. Uh, Louis was a Gretsch artist in the early 50s. He was a Rogers artist in the 60s. And here's a picture of that Rogers kit. Look at that rack tom. That's a 10 by 14. That's an eight lug drum. Anyhow, he was a Rogers artist. Then uh, later in the 60s, he was a Slingerland artist. He was also uh, played Pearl for quite a while and was involved in some of the R&D at Pearl. And there's even a picture of him, I think, in here with the pearl extender drum, where the top head was extended a little bit out, kind of like a timpani. Uh, Louis then, of course, went on to Remo and helped Remo with R&D as well. Here's a picture of that pearl kit with the uh, top heads being the extenders. So uh, Louis' magnificent talent, it's just remarkable. That kit you just saw was a kit he used for an ensemble he wrote called Bittersweet. And here's another amazing picture of a pearl kit, three bass drums, and Louis playing those kits with mallets. This is a kit I owned of his. It was a, a Remo kit. And now here's the kit uh, that was in my New York shop that was the uh, 24 karat gold kit. So, uh, you know, there's a lot more to say about Louis. What a wonderful talent, a sweet man, a great, great musician, composer, arranger, band leader, and uh, a drummer with technical skills beyond belief. So, uh, I hope for those of you that haven't uh, had a chance to hear Louis, look up any of the many, many YouTube videos that exist for um, Louis Belson. There's some incredible stuff out there. Early stuff that he did with Duke Ellington. There's some. Um, there's a solo in there and a Rogers kit and extended solo that's just amazing. And um, he was truly, truly a master and someone that everybody should get to know. Uh, and when you do get a chance, check my uh, YouTube uh, station for that Louis Belson, Steve Maxwell, Louis Belson, and it will give you some insight into this particular kit uh, that Louis owned. Again, thanks very much, everybody, and uh, take care. We'll talk some more soon.